Uh, first of all, let me introduce our team. Uh, I am Michel Danino, and we have here with us professors uh, Indranath Sen Gupta and Atul Dixit, who are in mathematics discipline, and Professor Sudipto Sarkar in physics discipline. Uh, we also have our postdoctoral fellow, Keshav Menad, uh, and our assistant, Nayana, and they will help us um, monitor this event today and tomorrow morning. I would like to uh, explain that this is not a one-shot event. It is something that we do hope to uh, repeat on a yearly basis. And it is also not an overnight event. We have been working in this field for uh, eight years. Since uh, in 2013, IIT Gandhinagar hosted a high-level uh, conference on history of science in India. And uh, we had the honor of having uh, Professor Rodam Narasimha, who recently passed away, as giving the keynote address. Uh, 2017, we had, in collaboration with the Indian Society uh, of History of Mathematics, uh, we had a big conference uh, for over two days, three days actually, uh, on the history of mathematics, especially with an Indian focus. And we had scholars from India and also other parts of the world uh, giving uh, high level presentations on many aspects of mathematics in India and other civilizations. Um, and we took care during that event to allot almost half of the presentations to younger scholars. The motivation behind doing this is simply that history of mathematics and in a broader way, history of science and technology is not regarded as a full-fledged academic discipline in India. There is very little institutional uh, or uh, uh, government support for the discipline in the academic world. And uh, this is something that perhaps will change. Many institutions, many universities are trying to do something in the field, but because of the neglect of the discipline for many decades, we have what we might call missing generations of scholars. And while we have excellent, uh, outstanding elderly scholars in the field, we do not have too many younger ones. And therefore, uh, we have tried since 2017 and now with this event to motivate younger scholars in presenting their work and, um, and getting some recognition, but also encouragement uh, from the uh, older generations, and hopefully one day encouragements from institutions themselves. Uh, I will, before I invite Professor Amit Prashant to say more on the HUMI project, uh, I would like to mention that a generous donor, Professor Satish Bhatnagar of University of Nevada has announced uh, rupees 5,000 for the best paper to be presented uh, today and tomorrow in this event, uh, an amount which our institute will match. And we will also add the same amount for a second prize in the paper presentation. We will rule out two of our speakers. Uh, I've already mentioned Keshav Mernad, who is a postdoctoral fellow in our project, and then Dr. K. Mahesh, who has been handling uh, uh, an external project of great importance uh, for us, and uh, he will explain what he is working on. Uh, they are on a different level altogether, and uh, they will not be considered, therefore, for this prize. Uh, with these few words, uh, may I invite, if he is with us, Professor Amit Prashant, to kindly say a few words on the HUMI project. Thank you, Michelle. It is my pleasure to be part of this uh, event, and welcome to all of you. Uh, for joining this uh, program and uh, contributing with your work and with your thoughts and taking the forward, taking this whole effort forward. Uh, History of Mathematics in India, this project, uh, I think we discussed about uh, one and a half year back uh, with uh, Chris Kopal Krishnan. And he was so excited about this project uh, and uh, he's so passionate about this. 
that he wanted a big thrust to go in this to support and encourage uh, activities which will bring out what has been done in India in the past in mathematics or allied areas and publish that or bring out that, bring it to notice to the world uh, in a scholarly way. Uh, that was the objective in a way, you can say. So, of course, I think uh, all these efforts are long term. It takes time. It takes effort to build a team which can do that. Uh, so far, the most of the effort has been on, you can say, looking into some of the old transcripts that are available, uh, learning Sanskrit or learning certain ways of uh, interpreting what was probably said in those uh, documents that are available. But the objective of this project is a little bit more than that. So, of course, we need to interpret, we need to uh, get the information out or whatever we can understand from those manuscripts that are available. Uh, but also take that forward in terms of how we can use it in certain areas, how we can uh, understand how useful those information were or are today. So all that brings out, you can say, a big project in hand. And that uh, we have a very strong team, um, thanks to Michelle and Sudipta and uh, Indranath Sen Gupta, uh, my colleagues here at IIT Gandhinagar who are uh, doing a lot of effort in this direction. And also certain, I think, uh, elite group, or you can say at least, uh, you can say uh, the expert group for me, uh, I, would, I would say, who have been uh, working in this area for a long time. And we are really grateful to them for joining hands with us and helping us with this project and taking this, uh, you can say, uh, whole effort forward. So, um, of course, uh, it, it is only a beginning. And we would like uh, many more colleagues to build this team uh, uh, and make it larger and make the whole effort much bigger. And uh, I hope through this event and uh, many more meetings uh, that I think uh, Michelle and uh, other colleagues have organized over the last one year and will be organizing in next uh, one next few years to come. Um, I hope this team will get bigger and bigger and I would, from on behalf of IIT Gandhinagar, I would invite all of you to look into how you can contribute. And we will be more than happy to have your association in this project or otherwise. So uh, with that brief on Homi, I hope, uh, Michelle, I could do justice to this whole effort, uh, describing the effort. And please feel free to add. Uh, and uh, uh, I hope this excitement that we have for this project uh, we are able to convey to you and you also uh, uh, can please convey your excitement to this project and join us. So with that, uh, I'll, I'll stop, uh, Michelle. Thanks. Thank you very much, Amit, for giving us this whole context of this important project. Um, I would like to request uh, Indranath, Professor Indranath Sengupta, to say a few words on the event. Thank you, thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, Amit. And uh, very welcome to all of you in this Young Scholars Conference on the History of Mathematics, which you know is uh, uh, has been planned uh, for today and tomorrow. So uh, I'll just say a few things. So this is uh, basically an effort to create a platform where uh, some researchers, especially young researchers and who are active in this subject to speak, to present their work. And we expect that senior researchers and scholars, you know, there are uh, not many of them, but there are uh, some very good scholars who have uh, done some uh, great work in uh, revealing 
what is the mathematics research? What was the status of mathematics research several hundred years back? And they have critical analysis on those. So, and we expect that after the presentation of these young scholars, the senior researchers will be able to share their valuable comments and suggestions on this work because we felt that that would be really, really enriching for all the, all the young scholars. And you can see that the, uh, the project is about history of mathematics in India, uh, but the scope is somewhat broad. We just said history of mathematics. So, you know, this is a platform where we invite ideas, invite people to speak. And we expect that, uh, as Michelle has already pointed out, that this is not going to be a one-time event. We hope that it would continue, okay? And this is the way where we will uh, learn from each other. You would be able to share, we would be able to learn, and so on. And just one quick thing, this is my personal view on this uh, subject, on this topic, that what has drawn me very close to this project of history of mathematics in India, because I've already said that there are great scholars who have done some fantastic work in actually uh, bringing it to focus that see the huge amount of mathematics that was done several hundred years back by scholars in India. And now again, of course, this work has not stopped. It is still going on. Now, what I find, what I feel is uh, still probably on, uh, I mean, which where there's enough scope to do is that can we see those, uh, those uh, discoveries in the present day terminology, okay? I know I'm a little vague, but you can see uh, there is this gap to bridge and we expect that a lot of research can be done, but it's easier said than done because uh, what it requires is a huge body of trained scholars. But uh, we feel that with this initiative, it will gradually, we will be able to spot people who are interested, who are uh, willing to contribute, who would like to take up this challenge. And by challenge, of course, I mean, there are many facets of this research. Uh, this is not just one. This is just my personal view that uh, this, this uh, creating this bridge and uh, creating this bridge in the sense that seeing those research in the modern terminology, in the modern light, would be a very interesting thing to know. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this conference and looking forward to your more active participation in future. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Indranath. Uh, Atul, please, Professor Atul Dixit. Yeah, thank you, Michel. Uh, very good morning to all of you and welcome to this conference uh, on history of mathematics in India. It's really a very nice uh, initiative that has been taken and uh, as Michelle and Indranath as well as Amit uh, pointed out, this is not just one of its uh, one of its kind event, it will be uh, also one of the multiple events that will follow. So uh, why is it important to study history of mathematics in India? I would like to quote one uh, one, there is one quote by the great uh, social worker Baba Amte. He said that when we drive our car, we are going forward, but we always have a rare mirror, rare view mirror that actually tells us from where we have come to this present uh, stage and who all are behind us. Also, all of us know about uh, Isaac Newton's favorite sentence that if I have seen further, then that is because I'm standing, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. So uh, I think it's really important for us to know what were the contributions of our Indian mathematicians. Uh, when we talk about ancient Indian mathematics, the only few names that come to our mind, and these are really giants, uh, Bhaskaracharya or um, Aryabhatta, et cetera. But we don't know, for example, contributions by Nilkantha. We don't know contributions by Haridatta or by Ganesh Daivarnya. We will be able to actually hear about all these uh, works in this uh, particular conference. So I'm really looking forward to the to hearing the uh, speakers and uh, what they want to say about this contributions by ancient Indian mathematicians. So all the very best to the conference. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Atul. Sudipto, please. Professor Sudipta Sarkar. Okay, so uh, I welcome everybody for this very interesting conference. Uh, 
so we hope that this initiative homi initiative funded by chris gopalakrishnan will be a kind of a path breaker in creating all many such efforts all over our country so uh, as we know the causality in physics i am a physicist so causality in physics says that past determine the future and also it is the past which teaches us about the future all great civilizations indians chinese the islamic civilizations arabics babylonian egyptians and i'm sure africans all great civilization contributed equally greatly to the rich tradition of mathematics so personally i like to see this homi initiative within this great grand campus and this an opportunity to understand and appreciate the greatest effort of human kind to find mathematical structures well mathematics has great practical application but beyond the applicability the mathematics provides us a general structure of thinking so the history of mathematics in india therefore will let us know hopefully the history of our own thought and our own heritage but in the context of such effort from all cultures we hope that this homi initiative will create more efforts more such organizations all over the country and ultimately led to a scientifically structured study of the history of mathematics and this conference will probably hopefully will provide certain avenue for such great thoughts and aspirations so this conference as we have already discussed and michel has told you so it will be mostly centered around the um, uh, lectures from the young scholars well i don't know what exactly young bin but anyway <laughs> hopefully that will be cleared in the context of the conference so they will give their seminar and uh, just as a uh, managing time i'll request all of you that uh, let's not um, start asking question in between the talks we can have a question answer session at the end of the talk so that's all i wish all of you welcome to this conference and we can start once the michel thinks thank you sedito thank you very much and um, before i let keshav introduce our first speaker uh, i would like to specifically uh, welcome dr kumbar our librarian who is in a way part of our team and helping us to build a repository and a comprehensive bibliography uh, in the field of history of mathematics uh, and it's it's uh, lovely to have you with us dr kumbar and in addition, I can see that we have a number of stalwarts and experts <clears throat> uh, listening uh, to the, the presentations. And I'd like to welcome specifically uh, uh, Dr. M.S. Sriram, Ramasubramaniam, Kim Plofka, uh, Professor Dani, uh, Dr. Jugal uh, Varma, uh, all of whom have been well wishers and experts whom we have consulted in this project of Humi. And I see a number of other uh, names like Professor Malaya and others. I will not be able to mention all of them. So it's a great honor to have all of you uh, on board. And I'm also very pleased to see a few younger names. Uh, I can spot two, three whom I know to be young. And uh, it's good that we have such an audience. So uh, now we close this inaugural session. Thanks. And again, warm welcome to everyone.